Ken, can we work through the decisions made at selection? So start with Tico coming in. Is that because yep. you want to play a ruck or because you've lost forwards? Yeah, there's a, it, 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 we've been 100% honest, it's a little bit of both. You know, we, we're pretty keen to get Brennan and give him a chance again before the end of the season. So um, this this half half forced it for us it was made it a little bit easier for us to make that decision because we've been very obviously been very pleased with what we've been able to get away with and do in the ruck with Jeremy and Charlie and that's worked pretty well for us but Brian as I said it was we go back to the game and the game that he played it was pretty exciting here at Adelaide over in the 35 minutes so and he's recovered fully now so we didn't have to rush him whereas we may have rushed him a couple of weeks ago. George Hardy's out of the side what was yeah that's thinking form. That's, that's purely form it's um you know just because um I think everyone goes well Todd's out of the side you keep that doesn't quite work that way. You've got to you've also got to make sure you're keeping pieces that are you know in form and capable of giving you a result. Now, Mitch is a um, a young developing forward, and I have been through this journey with Todd and over the time. And you go sometimes it's just a time, and they need to they need to they need to keep go back and work on some other stuff, and they'll come back and they'll be better again the next time. He's such a young and exciting young forward that we we really enjoy having in our team when he's in really good form. But at the moment, he's just a bit out of form, and if you, if you're not capable of performing at your best. Doesn't matter whether you're a little bit taller or not. You you still got to be performing. So, not playing finals this year. The question was: Would you start looking at what you had on your list, or would you go with the best available team? Which way did you want to go? In the no, we, we have a responsibility to go with winning, and that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep going after winning and give ourselves the best chance to win as many games as we possibly can between now and the, and the end of our season. So, we'll never we'll never stop trying to to win every opportunity we get. So, if if that's um, viewed differently, I'm. I don't share the same view. I think it's about winning. Winning's, winning's a great development. It's a great development. It's really important. So how do you balance then, if you do want to see an Ollie Lord or so forth, how, do you, how are you going to balance that in the next two weeks? Opportunity will come for form and opportunity will come through, you know, unfortunately, with, whether it be injury and, and then Todd's case with, with health and safety protocols. So we'll make those opportunities happen at the right time. But mainly it's around, first and foremost, um, you, you, we, we've always been good at young playing younger players and developing younger players and giving them opportunities if their form des deserves it. Um, Ollie Lord's a great example because Ollie's been in really good form in the sample, so he may, he may get an opportunity at some stage in the next um, two or three weeks. How much do you think Mitch's goal kicking has affected his form this year? It affects his confidence, which affects his form, so I think there's no doubt about that. He's worked really hard. He's been a pretty good converter over the journey. This year it just hasn't quite worked. He spends an incredible amount. I had a really good conversation with Mitch for a long period of time yesterday for about 30 minutes where we just chat and we chatted around lots of things and confidence is a really important and key ingredient, particularly for, for key forwards. Um, you know, his conversion is something that, that's not been at the level he'd like it and I'm sure that, you know, has affected, has affected his confidence to play other parts of the game as well. Um, he, he spends time working on his confidence. Though. Besides his confidence, <coughs> what else is affecting his goal kicking? No, I think it's as much as anything. It's it's, it's around his. It, it's all around his his mindset working through. It's it's not not not, not too much more than that because he's got a really sound technique and a technique and routine, and he works with it really well. But I think the problem he's got at the moment is it's that he's emerging at, at the top of his run up, thinking, um, I hope this goes through, not believing it's going to go through, and that that happens to all footballers at some stage or all sports people. I think at some stage there's a little bit of self doubt that creeps in. You don't ignore it. You work with it though. Ken, there's no, as we say, no carrot in front of the players at the moment. The finals are not there. So what's, what's their mood? What's their approach? What's their tone like? Oh, they're led really well by Tom and Ollie. They've got an approach that they need to maximise their opportunities for, for 2022. And that's you know, clearly the, the end result's not quite where we'd want it to be. But there's some opportunities for us to, to grow and keep getting better and improve ourselves as a Woody Club and show that we've got <coughs> a bit of... A bit of um, you know, ticker to keep at it and keep going. You know, there's a real challenge for our players and, and, and led again by our leaders that they, they want to make sure that they, um, they get into the rest of this season and give everything they've got. Do, do they free up and play that football we've seen sometimes this year where they just go on a big run because there's less pressure supposedly on them? No, I think we're, we're trying to maximise and play like that as much as we can, whether there is or isn't. So again, it's a great, great challenge and a great opportunity to learn something. You know, you can play the game the way you need to play it, but for us, there's still pressure. There's still pressure on performance. There's still pressure on, on getting a win at the end of the game. We, we've got a massive game tomorrow night against a, a team who are fighting for their life and, you know, been one of the great teams. So it's a great challenge for us. We've had great history against them in tough games and, you know, and unfortunately losing close ones. So we, we, we want to play really well and we want to beat Richmond. Have you got any more answers as to why those lapses are happening in games? The Even, whether they be seven minutes or whether they be a quarter, you don't score or you 
find that scoreboard pressure comes against you. Are you getting any answers to? No, I think on? they're um, I think they're consistent in every in every every team in the competition. Unfortunately, you, you have moments and you you just try to wrestle back the momentum and you have a style of play that helps you get that back into into the position you'd like. It's taken a little bit longer than we'd like. Clearly, we've we haven't we haven't defended every minute of every game the way we'd like to. So a small lapse in that can, can hurt you badly on the scoreboard and that's what we've found this year. They're small lapses but they're real lapses and you know we, we review them really closely and we, we did again last week. We go through them with an incredible detail to make sure that we look to improve and tighten up, as you just said, to tighten up the runs that the opposition go on against us like we can against opposition. Unfortunately, our season would suggest we've given up too many runs and we're able to put enough on the board. And the turnover question? If you what you, is that about more work at training or...? Yeah, it's not a, there's, there's not an AFL program that doesn't spend a lot of time on, on skill execution and, and skill under pressure. So we, we, we do a lot of it, but as I said, um, we, we haven't maximised it. We've got some challenges with it still, but you know, I, all I can say is that we spend an incredible amount of time every week on it. And this week we have an even stronger focus on what we're trying to prove because we know that the turnover number is too high. And that's why those runs that you talked around before come. They normally, can't, they, they normally came from our opportunities that we haven't maximised and we need to make sure we get better at that. Orazio, um obviously playing Sam, I think, tomorrow. Are you still hopeful he'll play the final two games or are you sort of wrapped yeah. in the cotton? Yeah, no, we hope. We hope he can get, his, get himself very, very close to playing AFL football in the next three weeks and if um, you know he gets through tomorrow's game at, at Sanford level, I think that will give him the absolute best chance. He's looked, you know, he's, his progressions have been really well managed and they look, they look like they're coming together. You know, it's, it's coming late, unfortunately, but it's, they look like they're coming together. If that's one game or if that's two games at, at the level, that's great for him to take into a pre-season. Ken, uh, with obviously Tickle coming in, what does Charlie's role look like tomorrow night? Yeah, he'll, be, he'll spend a bit more time Clearly as a forward, but he has last last week as well. Charlie's, um, you know, he's clearly played forward for us most of his career, so he can he can spend most of his time as a forward if need be. Though, and what we've done really well right through that period where we've used the different rucks is that we've been prepared to use whoever's needed to be used on that day and on that night. And tomorrow will be no different if um, you know if Bryn's not quite where he wants to be or, or Jeremy doesn't. We, we won't be frightened to throw Charlie there either. Is there any motivation? Obviously, Richmond are sitting ninth at the moment, a couple of points out of the eight. Is there any motivation that you? Can even though your season might not go to plan, that you can probably derail theirs a little bit? No, our motivation is to perform at our best and, and gain some belief and confidence in our game still. And that's, you know, people sit there and go, well, you haven't got much to gain. Well, we, we think we still have got a lot to gain for our own belief. And if if part of that case is that we beat Richmond and that hurts them, I, that's, that's not on my mind. I'm more about what we need to do to improve ourselves. Can we sort with Bergman last week? You got more flexibility in trying players in different roles is that on your mind for the next three weeks no we've done we as you know we always talk around that and, and every team does um, you know, we played Farrell at halfback last week which was a good good little opportunity for us because we had Houston and Bonner out so we um, you know that's what I said about we, we won't force those opportunities but if they present themselves we'll certainly take them and if we get some growth by having a look at some different stuff that's that's really important but not to ever compromise the opportunity to win just on that point of the sample, what's the best model under an AFL club for development of players? Currently, for us, it's it's the one that we work in because that's what we have to work with, and you know we've we've been pretty good at developing our young players. You know the challenge for any any team, and for us in in the model that we work in currently is if if we get stretched with injuries, that makes the program a bit harder to work. But that's because of the you know the rules that we work under. So, but we 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 work with the rules that we have to work with now. But would we be better as a competition with a Everyone on the same level, national reserves. Ah, oh, look, at, simplistically, yes, I think that that works. But um, we're a slightly different case in point with where we are and where we've where we've come from. We we've got this incredible history with with our footy club with the sample, so we're very respectful of that. So, but again, all those decisions that will get made in those places will be made by the people who are in control of those decision-making things. And that's not mine. Mine's mine's around developing and looking after the team and giving us the best chance to win. Speculation again this week out in Melbourne about your future. Has anything changed from your perspective? Do you no. still expect to be there next year? Yep. Thank you. Have a good day. <clears throat>